everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stocks Swish and reviewing CN. This was the Stocks Swish Show Play of the Day. Oops, let me get rid of that. <laughs> um, and it worked. So we shorted it and it worked. And again, you know, I like to do fast trades. We were talking about this in the room this morning. You actually could have done a slower trade in this. You could have done it and got out, which is what I did. Or you could have retaken it and you could still be in it. Or you could have done it where I did it and still be in it actually where I put the stop. So I'd like to do fast trades. In an ideal world, it would be in and out every day in two minutes, three minutes, five minutes of every single trade I would take and make thousands of dollars and go on and take walks in the park. So, I mean, I love fast trades, but um, even if you don't want to do fast trades, you should absolutely, absolutely learn how to read what's happening fast in a chart because you need to make decisions and sometimes very quickly, whether in a day trade or an option. Again, this was a day trade. This was a day trade on margin. Stock closed here at 61.96, gap down here in the morning and open at 53.75. So again, this was a nice short, um, which we did get the drop, got out again, I, I originally had to stop at one place. Oh no, I wouldn't have stayed in it if I had held it. 55.10, of course I could have adjusted it. Anyways, I had it at 80, then I moved it to 55.10. I'm seeing here now, it did get over 55.10. I mean, I was already out of it. If I had wanted to hold this longer though, I think I would have still done it, got out, retaken it. I just don't know where I would have put in the stop then if I had retaken it, but it's neither here nor there. I just don't, I don't want to trade all day. Again, when I'm in options, like I'm watching some things right now, I don't have to sit and, you know, lean on my keyboard. Day trades, trades on margin. You got to be out by four. You got to be flat. I prefer to be out quick and fast in the morning and be done and on with my day. And everybody in the room does too. Options, you don't have to lean on your keyboard. You watch them, you check them once a day, twice a day, whatever. You can put a sell order out. Again, I'm watching some things here now, but I can go take a walk, come back, go to the gym, make lunch, do whatever. You can't do that when you're in day trades. You must get out by four. With options, you don't have to get out by four o'clock. Anyways, this is definitely lower. This is definitely lower though. But if I had retaken it, I'm not sure where I would have put the stop. I, no one's still in this. Everybody get out in the morning because we were up so much in the drop. But um, again, you can hold day trades for longer if you want. It's not something that I like to do all the time. It's not something that I do all the time. It's something that I do only once in a blue moon. And to be honest with you, if I do it, it's probably because I took a stop in something in the morning out of the gate, which we did not today. We made money in this today very quickly, very fast, and we were done in less than five minutes. Um, again, that's how I like to trade. So if you're someone that doesn't like to do fast trades, the options are better for you. But you still should learn how to read things fast because you could be in an option and up a lot of money very quickly and if you don't get out, you're screwed. So you gotta learn to train your brain to read things quickly. Bottom line, that's it. We're active traders. The market moves fast. This moved fast. Again, this was a nice bearish gap down today. We shorted it, we got in, got out, took the profit, done. And again, everybody get out this morning because we were up a good amount here. I did not call any options in this. I don't know if it continues or not, but the market is a crap shoot here. So I didn't really wanna do anything anything in this today in a trade that I would hold overnight, put it that way. Anyways, we'll see where this goes. Tomorrow, we'll see where the market goes. If you're interested in signing up for the March Golden Gap course, the class is next weekend. I can't believe it. This month is going fast already. It's March 16th and 17th. If you're interested in signing up, email me at Melissa, the stockswish.com. Again, nice trade today. Everybody that came to the open house today made money. It worked. Again, I love the fast trades, particularly shorting. Stocks fall faster than they ever, ever rally. And again, if that's your thing, email me. And if you want to learn more, email me too. Have a great day, everyone.